I'm delighted to have Yeshim Nicholson with us in the studio. Hello, Yeshim. Hello. Thanks for joining us. Well, thank you for having me. Pleasure. <laughs> now, we're going to be talking, well, in fact, I thought we were going to be talking about finding customers, but in fact, you don't want to talk about that, do you? No. Well, actually, the reason that we were going to talk about finding customers is because of um, your wonderful survey that you put out every year. And, uh, and I know that a lot of um, a lot of small business owners or micro businesses struggle with finding new customers, yep. or they think they struggle with finding okay. new customers. Okay, so come on then, tell us what, <laughs> what should we be worrying about? I think um, what business owners should be more concerned about, not worrying about necessarily, but be concerned about, is enabling their um, prospective clients to find them. Okay, so stop looking for customers, yep. put yourself in a position where customers are finding you. Absolutely. Come on then, how do we do that? You've got some tips, I, I bet. I do have some tips. Um, uh, it, it's probably a lot more straightforward than a lot of people think it is. I think a lot of people get a little bit stressed when they think about marketing and, oh, how do I get my name out there? And, and it's a valid concern, mm -hmm. but hopefully I can make it a little bit easier with okay. just a few simple steps. Good. <clears throat> so the first one is to, and I know us marketers go on and on and on about this, but it's just absolutely crucial that you take the time to decide who you actually want to work with, who is your target market. Okay. Um, and then once you've defined exactly who you want to work with, <coughs> excuse me, be specific as possible. Mm -hmm. um, then you want to... Specific, uh, yeah. you mean uh, as to who the customer is or yes. what you're offering them? Um, both, both actually, both, but okay. um, mm -hmm. hopefully you know what you're offering them. Yep. But, uh, even that c can sometimes be a little bit tricky. Okay, so be really clear who your customer is, be really yep. specific with your offering and, and who yes. you're approaching. Exactly. And then once you've decided who you'd like to work with, what you're offering them, then you can start thinking about, well, what are the key messages that I need to bring across to this target audience mm -hmm. for them to go, oh, this is actually quite interesting. Right, that this person's something. speaking to me. Yeah, or exactly, yeah. exactly. That's exactly what, what we want to do is yeah. for people to go, oh, these, these people completely understand okay. me. And so this whole needs. notion of having a kind of a general message and trying to attract anyone is completely wrong, isn't it? We need well. to be <laughs> quite targeted and close yeah. and precise. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you can have a message that tries to appeal to everybody. In my experience, it doesn't work. No, okay. Yeah. All right, so next point. We've, we've, yeah. we've uh, grasp the first one. Where do we mm -hmm. go to next? So once you've decided what your key messages are, what, what's going to make it exciting for your potential client, then you need to start looking at the sexy bit, which mm -hmm. is how do you get your message across? And that's what I find is people seem to skip the target market and the key messages and go straight for the what I call the sexy bits, okay, which is right. how so do I get out there? Fine. So, so they might start off with a blog or Facebook or Twitter, right. but no real notion of who they're talking to and what they're trying to That's say to exactly them. That's exactly right. Okay. And I see a lot of people spending a lot of time, effort, and a lot of money um, on trying to do everything mm. and without having a real purpose and without having a real um, plan. Okay. So, um, so kind of define your avenues to get exactly notice right. is your next thing. That's exactly right. And a right. final point? Um, and then, so once you've put together your plan of how you're going to attract your clients, then you need to start reviewing on a regular basis. So I would usually say on a monthly basis, sit down, get out of the office, have a look at what you've been doing, see what's been working, what hasn't been working, what do you want to do more of, what you do you need to do less okay. of. Okay. Easy, really. Well, it can be. It can be, <laughs> as long as we have the, the mindset and the focus. That's it? right. Yeah. Okay, well, look, we'll talk some more, I'm sure. So, Yeshim, thank you very much for joining thank us. Thank you. Thank you.